Union Pier team hosted an open house at the Union Pier site earlier today to get community feedback about the roughly 70 acre project. This event is the second in a series of public workshops. Destiny Kennedy now joins us live from that Union Pier site in downtown Charleston. And Destiny, I know you said that Charleston Mayor Cogswell was at today's meeting. What was the rest of the turnout like? That's right, Justin. The Union Pier team was pleased with today's turnout and said there were potentially more people than last time. These workshops aim to co-create with community members of all ages and backgrounds. The Union Pier team says the more residents that participate, the more the team will get an understanding of what aspects are important to the community for the project. Today, participants got to review several stations, some of which focused on resilient infrastructure and the conditions of the site as of now, as well as examining the urban structure of downtown Charleston to highlight what exists today and what is missing. Residents got to add suggestions and questions by leaving a post-it note to each station. I spoke with a resident who says he's excited but still has concerns. I think what we need is to make sure the experts and those are really kind of honing in on how that traffic is going to flow and they don't just kind of wait and see if it all works out. One resident says he's pushing for a renaissance district, which sets aside land for retail and affordable housing for the Gullah Geechee people adjacent to the International African American Museum. I should be able to go and visit the International African American Museum and see what that represents and, and connect with that in a way and then leave and say, okay, well, what's the progression from that? The progression from that should be a place where people can come and either celebrate, learn more, um, buy, live. That celebrates the culture and heritage here of the Gullah Geechee people. The Union Pier team is hoping to reach many people to help form this project, including the youth. This is a huge transformational site for uh, the city of Charleston, for the peninsula, and this is a plan that we're planning for future generations. So we really want uh, youth input in what they want to see on the site, as this is a project that will span you know, many decades to come um, and impact the future for them. Officials tell me the information presented at today's workshop will find its way to the Union Pier website. You can find that link by heading over to this web story at live5news.com. Reporting live in Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News.